After your image has been captured, ShareX can process your image and perform some tasks automatically. You can automatically add image effects, watermarks, annotate images, and more. I usually set to automatically save the image file and open the image editor to annotate the image. These settings really just depend upon what your preference is and what will streamline your workflow. You'll just have to play around with these settings to see which ones work for you. I can say this, if you want your image editor to open automatically when you perform an image capture, then you should check Annotate Image section here. I usually find it's necessary to perform some type of modification or annotation to the image, and so I find this extremely helpful for my workflow. The next two functions deal with the automatic upload of images. I personally have not messed with these two settings, so I won't be able to give you any guidance about them. But if you use Dropbox or Twitter, these may be some settings that would be worth looking into as they may considerably improve your workflow. The next section contains some secondary functions that may prove useful during your workflow. I'll briefly explain the ones that I've used in mine. The Screen Color Picker allows you to retrieve a color from anywhere on your screen and will provide you with information about that specific color. If you need to know the exact hexadecimal code for a color, this is a great way to find out. For any of these functions, you first hover over Tools, and then the specific tool, and left-click. This will open the tool. For the color picker, place your cursor directly over the color that you want the information on, and press the Control button. When you do this, it will retrieve the color information and provide it here. You can also stop the color picker by simply clicking on the Cancel button. This will take you back to the ShareX dashboard. The ruler is just that. It's a ruler that you can use if you need to know the specific dimensions on some element within your browser window. Let's say that you want to know the exact distance from here to here. I simply open the ruler and use the built-in magnify feature. I can measure exactly from one side to the other. To exit, you simply right-click on your mouse. The image editor is probably the main tool that you'll use within the ShareX tool chest, and there's a separate video that provides instruction on how to utilize the functions within the image editor. When you start the editor, from there it will open a window and ask you to choose an image that you'd like to edit. The Image Effects tool allows you to add a variety of effects to images. When you open this, you'll be prompted to choose a file to edit. Choose the file and click Open. This will open the file in the Image Effects panel. There are some cool features in here. You can add drawings including text, make and manipulate images, add image adjustments, and also filters. For now, let's try applying a torn edge and see what this looks like. I like that. Now, let's add a reflection. Wow, that's nice too. We can remove effects by highlighting the effect and clicking the Remove button. After we get an image just the way we want it, we can click the Save Image button. Pick the folder that you want to put the image in and click Save. If you want to exit out of this tool, you click the Cancel button. This tool has some good potential if you want to add some quick effects to images. The QR Code tool allows you to generate a QR code that can be scanned. This has a variety of applications. When you're done filling in the text or the web address that you'd like to code, right-click and the QR code can be saved as a PNG file or copied to the clipboard to add to another file or image. The Screenshots folder is the default folder where all of the screenshots are initially saved when the image is captured. Occasionally, as you take screenshots, you may want to empty this out since every screenshot is saved to this file prior to editing. We've covered all of the major features of the ShareX dashboard, and you should have a good idea about all of the major functions within ShareX. In the next video, we're going to take a deeper look at probably the most important part of ShareX toolbox, the image editor.